All right, this uh, basically video is going to be dedicated to Claire Redfield's ass from Resident Evil 2 Remake because, you know, she has a nice ass. So, hope you guys enjoy because I'm just giving you nothing but ass shots during this whole goddamn video. I'm going to be quoting now what Eddie Hearn had to say. Uh, I came across this little article that says, Eddie Hearn re reveals Dillian White won't get title shot until... After Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury rematch next year. And I'm going to be quoting what Mr. Eddie Hearn apparently had to say. This fight, there will be an announcement this week with the WBC. This fight will is going to be for the interim world championship. The winner will be the mandatory challenger with the WBC and effectively will have to fight for the title before May 18th of 2020. So basically, the winner of this fight will go on and progress and fight the winner of Wilder against Fury, which looks set to take place early next year. So, basically, according to, you know, Eddie Hearn, the winner of Oscar Veris or Veris or whatever versus Dillian White is going to fight the winner of Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder before May 18th of 2020. So let's say Dillian White beats, uh, you know, Oscar Veras later on this month. And then let's say Tyson Fury or, or or then let's say Deontay Wilder beats Tyson Fury. Let's say they fight in February and he beats him. Then they have to fight before May 18th. So that's good news for Dillian White. That's good news because that means as long as he wins, as long as he wins, as long as he beats Oscar Veras, he will be... Uh, in position to basically fight for a championship belt next in his next fight. So that's really the, the thing. He just has to make sure he's beats <laughs> Ascaveris because if Ascaveris beats him, then Ascaveris, I would imagine, would be the mandatory to face for the, the BBC belt. So the thing is, if uh, Dillian White does manage to beat Ascaveris, what does he do? Does he then sit back and wait until May 18th? Or until, you know, the winner of uh, Tyson Fury versus uh, Deontay Wilder results. And then wait until he fights them. Because he'll be fighting them, you know, by probably... Bef the fight has to happen before May 18th. So, probably around early May, April. But, or, Dillian White loves to be active. Or does he, like, decide, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to just keep fighting until, uh, you know, just to stay active. I don't know. Uh, but this seems to be a good thing, you know, good news, at least if you're Dillian White, because whether Wilder defends his belt against Tyson Fury or whether Tyson Fury beats Wilder and becomes a WBC champion, uh, Dillian White would get a title shot. So, uh, you know, again, <laughs> I always hear these type of news is these type of news where, you know, it looks like Dillian White's going to get the title shot and then it doesn't happen. So a lot something could change during the course of the next eight months. You know, something could change. Something could happen. The WBC could could change the rules again. So you can't always like uh, confide, or you know, you can't just because you know Eddie Hearn saying this does that mean it's going to actually happen? So I guess we're gonna have to just wait and see. It it seems like it's good news for Dylan White. So uh, what do you guys think of that? Do you guys think that uh, you know, he's actually gonna fight for the WBC belt? You know, because apparently he's gonna become the mandatory or the interim WBC champion. Anyway, guys, I just have to say I'm out. Peace. Turns a museum into a police station. This is 73 Birdie. We're heading to rescue. The rear runs down at RPD. And it's I repeat.
What? Who's there? 